The only thing better than a frosty cold Las Vegas craft beer is a frosty cold Las Vegas craft beer in a steamy shower. Who makes the best shower beer in Vegas? We're going to find out on the all Vegas edition of Shower Beer Roundup. Stay tuned for this steamy episode of Versus Vegas. versus Vegas. As you can see, we're not in the studio today. We're at the super secret versus Vegas shower beer testing grounds off of Galleria at Henderson. <laughs> so what we've got here is a selection of local craft beers uh, from all around town. Uh, we've got some downtown, we got some brewing district, uh, and we're going to have them shoot it out, see who's got the best beer for your relaxing shower. Uh, so, give you a bit of a rundown on how this is going to work. We're going to try these out rapid fire. We got one shot, one shower. We're going to see how they uh, how they go. Uh, we're going to implement our new proprietary Vegas rating system. It's a one to five system that we've coded with vintage slot machine terminology. So, uh, five being the best. We've got uh, the seven bar cherry, watermelon, and lemon. Uh, corresponding with five through one. And uh, we're gonna throw these in, see uh, who stacks up where, and who's got the best beer for your shower. So we're gonna get set up here and uh, have you come join us with beers in a moment. Okay, as you can see here, I built a custom shower rig for shower beers. Got nice hard edges, keeps you wet and your beer nice and dry. All right, so like I said, a limited time frame for hot water here, so we're gonna get right into it. Starting off, we've got Chris Hale's Impaled Ale. Fucking fantastic name. These guys are out of, oh, it's an Able Baker product. He's out in downtown the Arts District. Uh, just had dinner the other day. Really cool spot, go check them out. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, definitely a, like a brown ale, uh, imperial brown rye ale, all right, uh, rich, definitely, uh, definitely flavorful action. I don't know who Chris Kale is, that's a fantastic beer going down there. Uh, we got our first tall boy of the day. We tried this uh, uh, last year around this time, uh, back before we were in the, the new space, and uh, well, it went about as well as you could expect. Can do a little flashback to <laughs> last year. Nine beer is a lot of beer, though. Yeah, it's everything seven. It's like, well, like, oh, it's got to have a hit the result. When it looks back, you get a hit the result. What's in the box, John? What's in the box? So, uh, definitely learned from that. Hopefully, uh, no, no more ten tall boys for this guy. What are you gonna see? All right. So it's good. I would definitely drink this on its own. Got the shower beer. It's a little, a little complex, a little heavy, a little heavy duty for a shower beer. I'm gonna rate this one. 
Oh, we'll go with the bar on this one. So, it's, it's good, but uh, I feel like for a shower beer, we uh, we just need something a little bit, a little bit more uh, easy on the palate here. All right, next up. We're gonna do a super cut at the end of all the Steve Austin pours. Yes, that was a, that was an important. That was an important distinction in the first round. Like, which one of these is the best to just douse yourself in, you know? Say you've won like a, like a top tier sporting event. Like, which one of these do you want to fucking, which one of these do you want to shower with? It would be showered in, you know? Shower beer out of it. It's, it's a, multiple meanings, all right? I gotta remember, I always talk loud. This mic's not gonna take up any of my mumbling. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got Tanaya Creek's Craft Pilsner with its fun desert motif here. Uh, we didn't actually pick this one up for the show, it, just, it was just living in my fridge, so uh, it's already got kind of a leg up on the competition that I had some in house. So, uh, Tanaya Creek, where the fuck is Tanaya Creek? I'm going to the map up. I have not been there yet. We're coming for you, Tanaya Creek. Want to come check it out? All right, this nice uh, Pilsner lager. Get a little bit more hoppiness from this one. Not huge on hoppy stuff, but you know, we'll power through. We'll power through, it's in the fridge. It's not too malty to me. I don't know. It's definitely. It's landing in the middle of the road for me. I, just, I can't do the, can't do the, do the fucking the hobby stuff, man. Right, uh, this is in my fridge. I'm gonna bump them up to cherry, just because I had some and uh, just made life easier for me. But uh, yeah, it's, it's borderline watermelon cherry here. Let's see how it passes the stone cold test. Oh man, it's even harsh during that. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Alright, got big dogs. Big dogs. Craft lager. Got another lager. Let's see how this one stacks up. I don't know what big dogs is that either. Bliss in Vegas. I don't know. Go, go, gadget. Google Maps. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting from a lager. It's lighter, it's got a, a more of it. It's not like super or whatever, but it's a little kind of like a floral thing to it. It definitely has more of a, I don't know. This is more in line with what I'd be going with if I was doing a, doing a, a nice, uh, you know, shower beer thing. It's, uh, you know, not too heavy, not too crazy. Yeah, this is a party beer. This is like a, this is a drinking game beer. It's one of those ones you can just do like all night long kind of thing, you know. And that's what you want out of a shower. You want something that you're not gonna like in the stress. You want to relax. You're coming in the shower, get a nice, get that nice muscle relaxation going. You don't want to be sitting there fucking thinking about your beer. You gotta, you gotta be, you know, be in that relaxation zone. That's I, for me. Party beers are always. Always good for that. Oh, it passes the stone cold test with, with the heat. All right. Next up, we got Bad Beats the Ringer. We show Bad Beat on the show all the fucking time. I love the fucking poker chip cans. They got a cool story. We're, I, I said in the first one, we're coming for you. I got a, 
I'm sending you guys an email as we speak. I'm gonna fucking, we're gonna get down there. The brewing district's like right down the fucking street. Maybe in our hidden fucking shower bunker here. That happens to be, you know, right next to the gallery of all. The Henderson. Right. Look, we mentioned that on the show a while back. It's like, yeah, I feel like just one of the people to show up randomly. They're gonna know where we're at now. They're just gonna fucking, hey, I heard you guys got beers. <laughs> hey, man. I'd love for that just to be like a, like a very like robust woman. I was making that that voice. <laughs> like, he's fucking great. <laughs> hey, man, I heard you got beers. Come right on in. The vampire lady from the Resident Evil game. That's so hot right now. This nine foot tall woman coming in asking for beers. Yeah, all right, I'm in. If you're a nine foot tall, beer loving, giant vampire woman, I come to the to the Vegas uh, versus Vegas brewing grounds here. Yeah, what is going on here? Oh, it's a... Whoa! I was not expecting that. It's got, it's got like kind of a fruity thing going on. It's got kind of a... I, I was expecting it's a pilsner. I was expecting, you know, like a German party brow. No, I got me. There's some fucking complex stuff going on here. I'm liking it. Oh, fuck yeah, bad beat. Always fuck with these guys. I don't know what, what they do, but it's right. It's right. There's a California lager. Oh, fuck that. Uh, but yeah. Crystal Spalt Hercules Select. I don't know what this fucking means, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. I don't know what you guys fucking do over there, but I'm liking it. All right. Final test. Ooh, that's refreshing. Oh, man. Anybody get on this? Oh, yeah, that's right, guys. We've got some IPAs coming up, and you guys know how I feel about IPAs. So uh, let's bring in the ringer. Speaking of nine-foot-tall ladies, as always, the lovely Marmuse. Marmuse, tag in. Try this uh, 7 5 IPA. Just remember, Ryan Reeves is a famous NHL tough guy. Right. <laughs> Fair reading is probably for the best. Hey, I'm trying to beat up a girl. That's why I handed it to me. Pretty good. You sure you don't want to get it? Fuck that, bro. It's not my jam. Yeah, I've got some more IPAs in the back. Yeah, I won't try any. He's a fucking loser. I'm telling you, dude, if I wanted to go out and fucking suck the Stanford pine trees dick, I'd be all about the IPAs. That's not my jam, bro. It's not my jam. Alright? Um. Not my favorite ever. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would give that maybe a bar or a cherry. Okay. Uh, I totally forgot about the rating system for, for these. But, hey, man, that's live. Hold on. We got the two out the can. All right. Bad beat. Fucking surprise the shit out of me. That's definitely a seven in my book. That's jackpot all day long. Let's see. Did we give the big dog one? Uh, big dogs. Solid bar territory. Solid. Just all the along with that. Uh, we need the Snyder Creek one, right? Yeah, we got an one of them. All right, we're good. We're caught up. We're caught up. All right, so oh, if I have to do the Snyder yes. Creek one, okay. It's a still right. cold thing. Come on. Okay. Open up. Oh, yeah. That's going to get that the thumbnail right there. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> it's just a screen grab of that. And he just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Marmies. Ooh, here we got another Abel Baker for you. Semi-conductor. Let's talk about that fucking rad light bright fucking can, dude. Yeah, man. A plus that for that shit. Fucking rad. Can you feel the electricity if we amp up our love to the West Coast style IPA? I don't know what the fuck West Coast style IPA is. That's a cool can. Let's see. Let's see how this one does. It just tastes like nothing, dude. It, it tastes 
it it's like, like very light perfume. Yes, it, no, it, it tastes very perfuming. Like a trip through the fucking perfume department at your local department yeah. store on your taste buds. So, I'm sorry, Craft House. I mean, you might make good stuff, but that one is, it's not, it's not in our wheelhouse. Yeah. I think my dad might like it. He's, he's a big fan. Like, he's like fat yeah, fire. Yeah. Oh, he's got terrible taste in beer. Oh, hey, great. Dad, subscribe to the fucking channel, dude. Dude, that's not good about you. Okay, so hopefully this one is better. Yeah, this one is better. Yeah, Another idea. You, you have to, I'm not gonna fucking try it. You can see this is your fucking wheelhouse. Dry hops are ideal with a classic combination of cascade, Jim's Vinigum, and Chinook. Oh. Well, like, I'm supposed to know what the fuck that means. Pine and grapefruit characters resonate from within. Pine characters, yeah, like a big amphorbic pine tree stuffing its dick in your mouth. Some people want to fuck a pine tree. You know, if I wanted a mouthful of pine trees, I'd go to fucking Charleston and take a header down my hill or some shit. Go. Let's get get after it, Marvin. Let's see where we're at. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Craft House. <laughs> I just don't like your beer. <laughs> no Craft House redemption today. It's fine. It's like watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah, watermelon. Oh, I thought you said taste like it no, like watermelon, like watermelon is watermelon. on our scale from. One to, to set, or from I had one to seven. I had a lot of melon beer once, so it wasn't good. <laughs> I, had a I had a watermelon high C the other day, or a Kool Aid high C packet thing. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Pretty good. I also had another one, it was, it was called like Shark Berry or some shit. It tasted, it tasted also like fucking perfume. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Do sharks have berries? I don't think they work like human berries. Also, I love how I'm hanging dog here. You came in a fucking bathing suit. I don't think you're allowed to show all this on YouTube. Probably not. But if you come, insist, come watch it on I will get naked. Come watch it on Versus.Vegas. We'll throw some fucking spicy content on there. Throw some yeah. wild shit. No, we won't. I don't know how that works. I don't know how to fucking put stuff on it. We'll do the OnlyFans, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. All right. Come, come find us at paywall.vegas. <laughs> I forgot. I, I, forgot, I forgot I own that. Yeah, the, the, the librarians made me buy it. Remember that? Oh, man. We own it. We own paywall.vegas. And a bunch of other stupid ones. A bunch of other stupid ones. Vegas. God damn it. No! I gotta buy Don't that. Do it. <laughs> You gotta do it, man. You gotta do it, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, yeah. It wasn't good. It's, it's not a good beer. How'd that Yule log taste going down? Uh, <laughs> not even like a sexy punchy. That's not a punchy stick that I would have done. Alright. Last up, we've got some lovely. Ninth Island Pineapple Sour. What's up, lovely? Yeah, probably brewed downtown Henderson. Woo! Oh, oh, yeah, we saw them when we were at the art thing the other day. They were down by that, like, biscuit place. Yeah, they're doing an art episode. You know how that goes, right? I don't know if you guys know, but we never have an episode on the first Friday of the month because they won't let us into fucking First Friday. Hey, First Friday. What the fuck, bros? Clem's not here to tell us to stop. We we need Clem to keep us from burning bridges the first Friday. But they won't let us in, goddammit! We just want to do a show down at your stupid thing. It's not a show for local artists, but they don't want us. They don't want our love. You know who does want our love? Love Lady Brewing in Henderson. That they do, the state they deserve it. Oh, Is yeah, it give, it give it a try, give it a try, see what I'm doing. It is definitely sour. They got that part right. I don't really want to drink more of this. 
Dude, I uh, I was hurling hard from those that COVID shot last week, and it tasted almost exactly like this. Lovely, what are you doing down there, guys? What this are you? This is probably not a good example of beer beer because it's the pineapple flower. It's almost definitely a seasonal thing, and it's just it's, it does taste very vomity. It's fucking gross, guys. Like, shower beer or no shower beer, I don't know what the fuck they did this one, but it tastes fucking disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, lovely. You guys probably rad, you got quite a good drink stuff. We're not trying to fucking malign you in any way, but this one particular beer, I mean, our, our rating scale happens to have lemon at the lowest thing, and yeah, this is sour nonsense. Straight lemon for me, dog. Yeah, I mean, I was just saying how much I didn't like that watermelon beer. I don't really like fruit in my beer. Um, I can appreciate a good shanty. A good shanty. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for yeah. something like that, like a cider kind of thing. I, I drink gallons of cider a year, dude. But man, this is fucking gross. Yeah, that's not good. How do they describe it? They don't. They don't describe it. <laughs> We just described it for you. It tastes like if you fucking ate a bunch of shaved ice and took some bad fucking pills and just Bleh! It's possible that this tastes better outside of the shower and like very cold. This has been like sitting. It's sitting in an icy thing yeah, on the outside of the shower. Like slightly warmer than I would want out of this pineapple sour. Well, Maybe I just want it to be cold to kill the taste. Speaking of warmer than average, it's time to art telly ourselves with this fucking thing. Oh yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright, together. Yeah. Ah! Oh god, it's so <laughs> bad now. Oh fuck. Oh, oh god, oh, god. oh fuck. Do you have to kill the taste? Oh fuck. Oh, oh god, give me some of that brown yeah. ale. Oh, neutralize it. Yeah. Oh, how oh, it burns. Whew. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, definitely lemon for me. That's, yeah. What the fuck, man? I don't know. And by the way, lemon means you don't win. Yeah. That is not a jackpot. Um, they, they, they're taking more of your money at that slot machine. They're reaching in your pocket and the fucking one-armed man is just taking like another dollar out. You got straight lemon, fucker. Here, give me another buck. Let's pretend like I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, man. But I'm gonna have to uh, try some other lovely stuff out before I totally trash their name. We didn't we try that? They make the, the, the dino boner... The, the dinosaur. Oh, uh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was that pretty was good. good. That was pretty good. So they they make good stuff. That was not a good example though. Unfortunately, Craft House, I cannot say you have been redeemed. Maybe they make good stuff. We're, I, we're gonna, we got to do a, like a brewing district episode. They're yeah. Down there, so. If only we've gotten that. Beer passport. We're only doing this because we didn't get the fucking beer pass. When they do the fucking brewery passport, get it on the deal. Not like these yeah, fucking things. Yeah, don't that weekend. Don't wait like a month and be like, hey, I wonder if they still have them. Read the fine print. Unlike somebody. Sorry, guys. I let us all down versus view Vegas viewers. Yeah. Do you guys have like a? Like a fun nickname for us to call you? All nine of our fans? Five of our fans? Vegan. <laughs> the versus vegan. The Oh man. Whoa. Dude. That lovely stuff, man. Whoa. Was, yeah. Man. I. I don't know, it might be like an acquired taste. Or just. Maybe like a surprising, unusual thing that was enjoyable that you wouldn't want to buy again. But it was just bad. Yeah, I was expecting something very different, and what I got was like straight puke. I just 
want to believe that parents, like a shower reason it was so bad. No, I do. It was just, it was, it was just so bad. bad. Was it wasn't bad. like, hmm, not my favorite. It was just an unpleasant experience. We are never going to get any fun corporate sponsorships, but fuck it, man. <laughs> we got to be objectively honest here. That was just not hey. good. Maybe Able Baker would sponsor us because they do reliably good stuff. I mean, those guys fucking bad meat. I've never had a bad beer from bad meat. Yeah, that Pilsner, that was a good Pilsner. I'm not a Pilsner fan. I think they're boring, but that was good. Seven Five makes good stuff too, and I'm not just saying that because I don't want to be humbled into submission by by Ryan Reed. It was the number two IPA. Yeah. According to me on this show, that's out of three in one of those crowd houses. She's saying you're number two because you're the shit, man. Don't don't kill us. I like that one thing you did, the, what was it, the Dawnbreaker? The Dawnbreaker was good. The, the training the tra the tra the tra the tra day is really good too. I like that one. Those are, those are go to. But I'm super happy with my semi-con duck sword. Look at this, how can you not love this? Super colorful, super ducky, and it's Abel Baker. Go down the town, support Abel Baker. The Ringer is, is my chant for the day. Like, it's got shower beer written all over it. If you're taking a shower today, get this baby blue son of a bitch in, in your hands. And I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't agree on some level about that Pilsner, but this is where it's at. Oh, it's got to show the stuff out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which cans you like better, guys? Tell us in the comments. We need the engagement. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll get those, like, three bots and all <laughs> Hot sex dating in your area. In my area? No way. That's Las Vegas. That's where I live. <laughs> it's Las Vegas and definitely not right across the street from the gallery of Henderson. <laughs> Ugh. Alright guys, well, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for uh, joining me in my uh, awesome shower beer uh, test grounds here. Uh, hopefully you've taken some good shower beer tips from this, maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. We've got some cool guests coming in this week. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Right, whose hands are least wet here? I'm going to turn the camera off. I got my camera guy all wet. <laughs>